Holy smokes. What in the world is this? What's going on everybody? Nick from 618 Fishing here. And today I'm doing something pretty exciting. I got off work early, so I'm gonna head to, I believe it's the second largest lake in Illinois, right behind Lake Michigan. It is Lake Carlisle. Pretty nervous because I haven't really fished in a large lake recently, so I don't really know what to expect. But whatever happens, gonna happen out there. Okay guys, so I finally made it down to the lake. This lake is just massive. I don't even know where to start. I think what I'm gonna do is just start off with stuff that I'm confident using, which is uh, probably a chatterbait because I just had that really good day fish with the chatterbait. So I'm probably gonna start off with that and just move on from there. Here's the trailer I'm gonna start off with, which is the Swim Senko by Gary Yamamoto. Nice, found a little lure. <laughs> Did not have any luck with the chatter bait, so I'm switching to my second confident go-to setup, which is a Texas rig. I'm fishing off these rocks right now, so I'm just gonna drag this along the bottom, hopefully not get snagged, and catch a fish. Almost immediately, I got snagged. <laughs> ah, dang it. Oh, I <laughs> just found another lure. All right, well, I may not be catching fish yet, but at least I'm finding some free lures. Okay, guys, so I'm not having any luck. So I think what I'm gonna do is just use one of these I found, one of these lures I found. They're both kind of the same thing. So I'm guessing whoever was using these and lost them knew how to catch these fish. So why not give it a try? See what happens. It's not looking good for the new lure I found, guys. I might have to break it off. And there it goes. All right, well, can't say I didn't try it. <laughs> Okay, no luck with the lure I found. I snagged that off and had to pull my line until it broke. I put down the spinner bait. I decided to, why not try the buzz bait? Onto the KVD 1.5 squareable chartreuse with a black back. Think about switching my spot, even though I keep seeing a bunch of fish jump. Might just be a false hope. So I'm thinking about switching spots pretty soon, but I'm gonna give this a try first. There's a fish. Finally got something, guys. Yes. Finally. I think this is a white bass. I don't think I've ever caught one of these before, too. So a new species. Awesome. 
Thanks, you, buddy. Whew. The bait that finally did it was the KVD 1.5 square bill. I'd say it was my fourth cast or so, and I finally caught a fish. So let's see if I can't catch some more, guys. Well, guys, looks like I'm gonna lose my lucky lure. That's upsetting. Finally find something that works and I'm gonna lose it to a snag. Ah. Oh my gosh, I got a tiny fish. <laughs> so it looks like it's a little largemouth bass. Right. See you later, buddy. It is a small fish, but I'd rather be catching that than nothing. So I'm happy about that catch. And more importantly, second species of the day. So a white bass and a largemouth bass, really cool. I still have about 15 minutes or so, so I'm gonna try to catch one more. Hopefully a bigger fish, but I'll take I'll take another one of those any day. Holy smokes. Oh my gosh, you guys, I have a fish. You guys, this feels like a big fish. Holy smokes. What in the world is this? Oh, it's a catfish. <laughs> what? Channel catfish. How did I catch this? I'm a square bill. Check this out, guys. So I cast my square bill out there and I got a bird's nest, so I was fixing it. I heard a big splash at the top of the water. Holy smokes. I didn't really think too much of it. It was this channel catfish that came up and hit my square bill at the surface. That was really cool. All right, well, I caught a third fish and it's actually pretty decent was not expecting it to be a catfish though. So go ahead and let him go. Uh, see you later, buddy. Woo, it's awesome. Just realized I was fishing with this, this square bill and <laughs> the hooks are uh, 